today's problem from pair of straight line and the problem is if the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c this is equal to 0 this is we know this is a general equation of second degree represent a pair of straight line then show that the area of the triangle formed by the bisector of the angle between them and the x axis is given by this we have to show the area of the triangle formed by the bisectors of this line and the x axis is given by and the rough sketch of this problem as if we draw only the bisector of this line as this we know that this is perpendicular and the point of intersection with x axis this is a and this is b let it be it be p okay and then we have to find the area of the triangle a b p and we have to show the area is given by this okay now to proceed we first let let p here alpha beta be the intersect side of the given line given lines 1 ok we name this line as 1 and if this is the point of intersection of the line 1 then we know that the equation of bisectors that is PA and PB are represented by the pair of line is given by so equation of bisectors of 1 as this can be written as x minus alpha whole square minus y minus beta whole square by a minus b this is equal to x minus alpha into y minus beta by h ok we know and this is discussed in previous class and the link of this class is in description box now for the point of intersection of this bisector let it be 2 these bisectors are P A and P B to find out the point of intersection with the x axis and the bisector we put here put y this is equal to 0 that is by putting y equal to 0 we have to find the point of intersection of 2 and the x axis and putting y equal to 0 we get this is x minus alpha whole square minus beta square by a minus b this is equal to x minus alpha into minus beta by h now simplifying this result we write directly here the quadratic equation of x right this is the quadratic equation of x now if we take the point A, the coordinate of A is x1, 0 and the coordinate of B is x2, 0. Then we say that x1, x2 are two roots of the equation. Right? This equation has two roots which are x1 and x2. So by writing the relation between roots and coefficient, we write here x1 plus x2 this is minus b by a so this is given by 2h alpha plus a beta minus b beta by h and we write x1 x2 this is x1 x2 this is given by alpha square minus beta square into h minus a minus b into alpha beta by h ok we write this two result by rewriting the relation between roots and coefficient of quadratic equation. Okay. Now we have to find the distance AB. This is the base of the triangle, and the distance AB is given by AB is given by mod of x2 minus x1. And AB is AB is mod of x2 
minus x1. So this is root under x2 minus x1 whole square. And it can be written as it can be written as root under x1 plus x2 whole square minus 4x1 x2. Now putting the value of x1 plus x2 this and x1 into x2 this we get the result as this is root under 2h alpha plus a beta minus b beta by h whole square minus 4 into minus 4 into this is alpha square minus beta square into h minus a minus b into alpha beta by h okay and directly by simplifying this result we write the final result or the value of a b is equal to beta by h into root under a minus b whole square plus 4 h square this is the value of a b that is the base of the triangle p a b now to find the area of the triangle p a b this is the perpendicular okay that is altitude and it is nothing but we take already this is alpha beta so this is beta okay so the area of the triangle area of triangle p a b is given by half into a b into altitude beta and which is given by half into this is beta square by h beta square by h into root under a minus b whole square plus 4 h square okay we get the partial root it is clear that we get root, root under a minus b whole square plus 4 h square by 2 h and we have to only find beta square now our work only remains how to find beta square to find the point of intersection alpha beta we first write the discriminant determinant of this pair of straight line and which is given by the determinant a h g h b f g f c we know that this is delta right and we get three equation from three rows of this determinant the first equation is a alpha plus h beta plus g this is equal to zero this is equation a second is h alpha plus b beta plus a this is equal to zero this is b and the third one is g alpha plus f beta plus c this is equal to zero this is c now solving a and b we get the result alpha by beta by 1 by okay we have to find only the value of beta so we write only beta and 1 and the beta is given by this is a f minus a g and 1 by a b minus h square that is beta this is equal to a f minus a g by a b minus h square okay and from a and c we again find the value of beta this is also alpha by beta by 1 by and this two relation gives the value as beta by h c minus f g h c sorry sorry this is not h c this is a c a c minus g square this is g square here and a c minus g square and 1 by this is again again 1 by this is a f minus h a f minus h so we get again the value of beta is given by a c minus g square by a f minus h now multiplying both value of beta we get the value of beta square this is given by clearly a f minus h g and a f minus h g cancel out we get the value 
AC minus G square by AB minus H square. Now, putting the value of beta square here, we get area of the triangle PAB. This is equal to root under A minus B whole square plus 4H square by 2H into beta square. This means AC minus G square by AB minus H square. And this is our required result. We want to find this relation. Okay. This is very, very important problem of pair of straight. Right. This is our solution. Thank you. Thank you for watching.